This podcast is a Believe Network and Luciete production. Welcome to a special edition of the T-Loop Podcast brought to you by Believe Network. I'm your host, Dara T. Lewis, and this Saturday night, ECWA presents Summer Cage. That'll take place at the Jersey Dugout in Morganville, New Jersey. Bell time is at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at the door, or you can order them in advance at ecwawrestling.com. My guests on this episode are the two combatants that'll be in the main event of Summercade for the ECWA Heavyweight Championship where the champion, Mr. Darius Carter, will defend against the number one contender, Eric Martin. Now, I first want to start off with you, uh, Mr. Carter, in regards to... Oh, and before I get started, this interview was initially supposed to have taken place at the Jersey Dugout, but I got word from ECWA President Cheyenne Ortiz that because of the high tension of this issue between these two gentlemen this had to be done via satellite and both gentlemen did agree to do this via satellite and i thank you gentlemen for giving me your time but back to you mr carter i wanted to ask about the super a tournament just a few short months ago you know was there any pressure on you not only to win the tournament for the second time you know you winning in 2022 now winning in 2024 but also defending the championship in each round of the tournament of course there was pressure that was the entire point the whole point was to put all the chips on the table was to show everybody that i was everything that i said that i was i said that i was going to come in and change the game i said that every single step that i made as ecwa heavyweight champion that i was going to make history that i was going to do something that was never done before and that meant putting pressure on myself like nobody else has ever done before and that's that's the way that it is i can handle it I do it day in, day out. It's what has made me the person that I am. It's why I am where I am today. I'll carry several companies at a time, and that's just the person that I am. Okay. Pressure is part of, of Darius Carter. You know, you can make it look easy, but that doesn't mean that it is easy. It's it's constant pressure. It's constant climbing. It's constant hustling, constant struggling, having to deal with nonsense and politics and things in the back and things in the ring. To be at the top means you have to have your head on a swivel 24-7. You don't get to sleep like others get to sleep. That's just the way that it is. Okay. Well, like I said, you know, I was at ringside when I saw you make history. And like I said, once again, congratulations to you on a successful run as ECWA champion so far and winning the tournament. But I want to turn the tables over to you, Mr. Martin. And again, thank you for uh, giving us your time. You took a hiatus. I've been here for- all the time. Okay. You took a a hiatus from ECWA for a little while. So what did you do during that time away in that hiatus and what's different this time around? Well, I really had to grow as a, as a person. I uh, suffered extreme loss and uh, became a father. Those things have really molded me into being a better man, a better character. At least I think so. Um, you know, but it also allowed me to have time to heal, and, you know, mostly physically. And I got, I got in the ring here. That's the point. We actually, I don't know if you can hear this, where I'm having a tune up match tonight. I'm constantly working. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get back to the best shape of my life, but I really feel like mentally where I'm at in a professional wrestling ring is light years different than where I was just even a year ago, two years ago. So I feel, I feel really good there. Okay. I'm excited for Saturday. All right. So if we can both go back at this now in balls to both of you, you know, obviously at Pretzel Mania 6, you know, Mr. Carter um, had successfully, he was on his way to the ring to defend the ECWA Heavyweight Championship against Joey Ace. Now there was an altercation with Mr. Carter and L.A. Venn as L.A. Venn was making his way back to the locker room area. There was a confrontation between you two. And then all of a sudden, you know, Mr. Martin comes out 
and tries to defuse the situation. Now, there was a shove that took place, you know, from Mr. Martin to you, Mr. Carter. And, of course, you ultimately gave him a receipt with a boot to the face. Now, was there a miscommunication in regards to, did, he, did you think he meant to shove you? Or was he just saying, hey, let's try to defuse the situation? Because that that boot was, was pretty vicious. It's not about intention. It's about action. And the point of the matter was L.A. Van was going over his time. It was time for me to make my entrance. He was in the ring. It was in the walkway. Mm -hmm. And it, his time was up. It was time for me to make my entrance. Eric comes out, puts his hand on me. I had to level him out. That's all that it is. He had no business touching me, had no business being out there. There were plenty of other people out there that came and got in between myself and L.A. Van. There was no need for Eric to touch me. Uh, you know, man, you know, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, you know, I thought maybe I was doing you a favor. I guess, you know, that could have just went any other way. You and Ben, who knows? I'm, you know, I'm just trying to push you and keep you in line. You know, not keep you in line as a person, but just, hey, man, you might make a mistake. You know what I mean? He's hot right now. Like, he could have got you. But, you know, you decided to make a bigger mistake and kick me in the face. I mean, you talk about keeping your head on this woman, buddy. I mean, I got to keep the head off my head on this woman. You know, like, not only did you, I don't know, uh, hit me in the face, blindsided me, then you hit me from behind after I looked you dead in the face and I gave you the opportunity. Listen, there was nothing stopping you there from laying me out. Let him remove. But fear and air, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't the air that stopped you there. You know what? I, I give you credit because I've known you, you know, for so many years. And I'm not going to pretend like I have, and I'm not going to downplay you or anything. I, I think this was all a plan, you know. I think this was a plan for you to to shoot yourself into a heavyweight championship opportunity without having to earn it, without having to, to do it the right way. You got yourself in an altercation with me, and next thing you know, you have a heavyweight championship match. You've been in a company since 2016. Never had a heavyweight championship opportunity. Now you suddenly get one because you laid hands on me. Like, that's how easy it came to you. You know what I mean? Like, it was all a plan for you. You yeah, figured, oh, yeah. you figured, no, no, no. You figured, oh, let me go out there, get in an altercation. I know the promoters will see this. They'll say, oh, let's book this match. Because let's be honest, I've, I've cleaned the slate over at ECWA. I took out Mr. Ulala. Won the 2024 Super 8, defended the championship successfully throughout the tournament, something that's never been done before me. I didn't see you in that tournament, Eric. Where were you? Where were you? You weren't there. So went there, won that tournament again, successfully defended the championship as you just saw. Come on. I, I mean, I, I, you on. said something, uh, pointing, right? Joey you Ace. For a while. No, 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 no. You, no, no. You know, you know, you've known me for a long time, right? You're familiar with my work. You know, speak for myself, for itself. I don't suck. And you know what? You know what? I just made a decision a lot easier for your next tournament. You know, if I'm such a, like, well, listen, shut me up then. I'm, don't worry about that. I'm going oh, to. You're, you're going to make that. my wishes come what true, Mr. Disney what World. You, I don't all know right, why you're so right. theatrical. You're so eccentric about this. You're so over the top. Eric, you I'm know a man. what this I'm is. I'm a man. It was never about a championship match. You you kicked me in the face. And of course I, I did. Like a hey, listen. Listen, you had just fought an arms going. Of course I kicked you in the face. But listen, listen, listen. Listen, there is nothing, there is nothing stopping you. From there's nothing making you run out of the ring. There's no excuses on a Saturday oh, night. Look at that beauty. Yeah, it's a vertical championship. It's gonna look nice. Right oh. on my right on my mantle, right? Right behind me. Well let me let me just stop it for just a second, guys. And I appreciate I him. <laughs> no, 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 and that's fine. And I, 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 but I but I do want to ask this uh, for, for you, Eric. Did you feel the need to go out there and 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 get involved in that confrontation with LA Vin? And Darius Carter, did you feel that was your obligation too? Because again, he said it was it wasn't so much of it was more or less the action, not so much whether you meant to shove him or not. Did you feel the need to be out there? Listen, I was just being I was just doing something I was asked to do, uh, based on what was happening. And they said, Hey, you know, 
a couple of the guys, they were like, hey, please go out there, break this up. Listen, I'm, I, I've worked in, I was a bouncer, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just ready to de-escalate the situations. But, you know, I just, I don't know. If this was on the streets, I mean, I, I got leveled, no joke. It was, but there would be some serious retaliation from, you know, where I come from in my life. And I tried to give uh, Darius the opportunity to, uh, you know, be a man. And he took a coward's way out. He ran away. Oh, please. Oh, you had please. no business out there. You had no business out there. You put your hands on me. You figured you'd get yourself a little spotlight, get yourself a rub. And you did. Now you got a championship match. Congratulations, Eric. So now you got it. So now you got what you wanted. You went out, yeah, literally, yeah, right. you involved yourself in something that had nothing to do with you. No one was asking for you. No one was chanting for you. Nobody was saying, Eric, nobody was chanting for you. You involved yourself in a situation that just arose between myself and L.A. Vin. It was none and of your I, business. I don't, I don't you made, know excuse decision. me, I'm talking. The champion is speaking. Be quiet. You lay hands on me for no reason. Not like, you, you're not touching L.A. Vin like that. You touched me like that. It was a particular way that you touched me. We've replayed the footage again and again. It was a particular way that you put your hand on me. You made contact with me. So, of course, I struck you in the face. You were out of line, and you need to be put in place. Next thing you know, you're in the ring with my championship in your hand talking about I want to be champion. You were not... You weren't even part, were you even part of the show? What were you doing there? What are you what are you talking about? This guy is holding my title in his hands. And you're sitting here talking all this garbage. This nonsense I'm that so, I have I'm to sorry. listen to. I'm sorry you got a spot that I want. Yeah, matter of fact, you know what? You want to make it about this? You know what? Yeah, it is. Because I am a top guy. I'm gonna be a top guy after I take the championship from you Saturday night. Until you listen. Yeah. Good. You know what? Where was the, where's this Eric Ben? Where's this Eric Ben? Is, did it take you know, Darius Carter? That's a great it question. It took Darius Carter to bring it out of you? It took Darius Carter to bring it out of you? It of course took a it lot did. more than just Darius Carter. Of course it did. Because I have the no. Midas touch, and everything I touch turns to gold. Look yeah. at now, you. And, and again, guys, Look and again, I, I, I appreciate you know, the passion, but you know we definitely have to move so along. Now, now, Mr. Mr. Martin, Eric, now, I know you too, like he said, you, you did go back out to the ring after the match was over. And and I can ask really for the both of you. Now, Eric, when he confronted you, he again, he had the title in his hand. Did you feel the need to attack his knee? Because that, I mean, that was, that was, that could, that could have been, that could have, that could have been career ending, you know, if you would have hit his knee the right way. Was there, did you feel the need, Darius, to attack him in the knee? Again, I did what I did for the same reason Eric did what he did, right? Mm -hmm. Heat of the moment, right? That's what Eric's telling you. Oh, it just happened. I didn't mean to. I was I was trying to protect you. Yeah, that's why I did that. Look, the point of the matter is this man put his hands on me, okay? He initiated a situation. And, of course, he gets into my face, didn't apologize. He's talking jargon to me, downplaying his champion. That knee shot was me getting even. That was an even shot. That's all that was. There shouldn't have been any situation. There shouldn't be anything after the fact. There shouldn't be a conversation. That should be Eric saying, I understand. I was wrong. I made a mistake. Yeah, come, come Let's get, move come on. Come get your apology on Saturday. Come get your apology on That's Saturday. That's all it is. There's no, there's, Nate, that's all it yeah, is. Come on. You should have yeah, taken the chop me. block. Make me say. Make you me say. Taken, you should have taken the chop block and said, okay, that was my receipt. That's all it is. You don't get it. Now you want a championship match. Now you want to, to, to seat at the throne. Now you want to be the top guy. You don't get that. You take the beating and you leave. You take the lesson and you leave. That's what it I, is. I, you may be wired Period. like that, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hey, wired like that. Hey, how does L.A. Vin feel about you uh, getting this championship match? How, do you, how does he feel about you stepping on him? Because he wanted to have a moment with Darius Carter. Next thing you know, you get the championship opportunity. Are you a friend yeah. of, of L.A. Vin? Yeah, Are he was real gung ho about it. Hey, you have you his know, phone number? That, no, not really. I listen. Mm, I, no, I, not really. That's I, not an answer. I'm a little bit of a selfish person. I'm a little bit of a selfish person when it comes to this. I'm not in this for friends. I'm not in this. 
Dude, I'm not here to have Ellie Ben raising my hand. I don't want Darius Carter to have my respect. No, no, no. I, I want that championship. I want some bread, and I want to have some financial security. That's all I want. That's all I want. And you hey, know what? That, hey, hey, that's I, not I, I an answer. Do you saved. have his cell phone I'm number? Be... No, not really. That's not an Absolutely answer. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, my goodness. Dude, look at look, this. Man. Oh. Mm. You well, know what this feels like? Look at this beauty. Yeah, right. you know what? You I see gotta, this? I gotta, well, you see this? Guys, this is something. This is something out of your reach. This is something beyond your grasp. This is something above your level of comprehension. You see this championship? She You're calls to, to me. Your what name like doesn't ever get mentioned. You know what? In the you know conversation. What? I got to tune up. Stop. I got to tune up match right now. No, I got to tune up match coming up. Listen, Stop. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you both. Silly boy. I'm walking. Silly I'm walking boy. Out of here. All right, Listen, silly boy. I'm gonna quote DMX for you. Come on, let's put that in the frame. Talk is cheap. Look at you. Look at you, man. Is he crying? He, is he literally. Cry wow. Is is he crying? What yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we uh we just lost um Eric Martin. That oh. He said what he had to say. Um, but I'll definitely finish this with you, uh, Mr. Carter. Um, oh my, goodness. my question, my question is, why do you, well, I guess do you feel that Eric deserves a championship match? See, here's the thing: Eric's a talented individual. Eric has a little following. He has a, a cult following. He has people that watch him and support him. I think Eric is more than good, more than capable. Is he deserving of a championship opportunity right now? I do not agree with that. I don't believe he does because what has he done to earn it? He hasn't won a tournament. He hasn't won a number one contenders match. Of course, I'm making fun of him to his face saying, were you part of the show? I saw that he was part of the show. I saw the match with the with Travis Lee and the referee's decision. But why isn't he beating Travis Lee definitively? Why isn't he running through Travis Lee if he's truly quality as a contender and deserving of challenging Darius Carter for the ECWA Heavyweight Championship. I don't see the challenger for Darius Carter breaking even with Travis Lee. I see the, the challenger for Darius Carter being heads, a head and a shoulder, legs, knees, toes, everything above everybody else on the roster. My number one contender should be definitive. My number one contender should be proven. Him getting his championship opportunity because of a controversial situation, I don't agree with. Because he laid hands on me, the office saw that and said, hey, let's, let's book this match. They saw him raise the title above his head. He had nothing to do with any of that. That's like if, if, if Ulala came out, held the title above his head, and next thing you know, I have to defend the title against him again. That's like if... if, if it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. If King Reginald came out there and did that, if anyone on the roster, anyone on the roster could have picked up that title, held it above their head, and they would have been my challenger for Summer King. That's what it looks like to me. And I don't like that. I'm a champion built on credibility. I'm a champion that is built on proven results. I said that I was reshaping ECWA because I want ECWA to represent the very best in professional wrestling. And the way to do that is for, to establish contenders that are deserving of championship opportunities and main events. Did, er did Eric Martin really prove that he deserved this main event championship opportunity against me? I don't believe he has. The record books agree with me. Commentary can agree with me. You can agree with me. Everyone knows I'm telling the truth. Eric is just somebody that he is a challenger. He's somebody. I, I needed an opponent. I needed a rest, an opponent for first for Summercade. I needed a wrestling opponent. I needed opposition. I need someone to stand against me inside of that ring. There was no one there, so they chose Eric Martin. So Eric's going to have to bring everything he, ha he has, and I know that he will. I know that he's going to fight with all of this vigor, all of this intent. He's going to need to fight as if his life is on the line because I am here not just to beat him. I am here to expose him as somebody that is simply not ready. Simple as that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, this Saturday night at Summercade, Mr. Darius Carter will defend
the coveted ECWA Heavyweight Championship against now the number one contender, Eric Martin. Again, you can get your tickets now at ecwawrestling.com. Again, doors open at 6. Bell time is at 7 p.m. again for Darius Carter and Eric Martin. I'm Darius T. Lewis for the DLU Podcast on Believe Network.